want to reassure the American people that full, the full resources of the federal government are working to assist local authorities to save lives and to help the victims of these attacks. Uh, offering as much protection and as much security as we're capable of for the citizens of the city. And uh, at this point, I believe that the people in New York City can demonstrate our resolve. We lost over 3,000 people, including one of, one of my sons who was in Rescue One. He was, uh, we never found him. I believe he was in the North, North Tower. Originally, Rescue 5 was Ladder 78 on Staten Island, and uh, it became a, a full-fledged uh, independent rescue company uh, after I retired. Lieutenant Paul Geidel, Rescue Company 1, Fire Department New York, retired. Gary Paul Geidel, he was in Rescue 1. My other son, uh, Michael, he's in Rescue 1 right now as we speak. He's a senior firefighter in, in Rescue 1. And I worry about him every day. I think it's really important that here in Long Beach we celebrate uh, the heroism that happened that day. I know all of us uh, are incredibly grateful of our incredible fire department, our incredible police department, but also the bravery of all of the uh, fire and police departments from across the country uh, that gathered together that day uh, in an incredible display of heroism. It's, uh, going on a cross country trip, I was up, gonna go up through Canada to visit my son in, uh, in California. And uh, we heard about it in a, in a store, we were getting some cold cuts. And a woman in, in, uh, up by Toronto told me, uh, what do you think about the towers? going down. I said, I don't know what you're talking about, because we were listening to uh, books on tape on the radio. So we did a 180 degree turn and went back back uh, home, and I was up at Ground Zero on the, the next day, the 12th, and I spent the uh, next eight and a half months there trying to bring my son home. Uh, we never found him, but we brought a lot of people home. We lost over 3,000 people, including one of one of my sons, who was in Rescue One, he was, uh, we never found him, I believe he was in the North Tower. And uh, we're just trying to get the message across because it's been 14 years now. And uh, if you look at a 13-year-old or 14-year-old, he don't know anything about 9-11. So uh, here's a picture of my son here. You can't get a better smile than that.